But here's the thing. The Lockheed design with all its flaws were much simpler and cheaper and easier to build. Unlike the Boeing 2707, which used titanium throughout, the L2000 used a much easier to produce and cheaper stainless steel and restricted titanium use to only specific areas where it offered a clear advantage over stainless steel. As we know now, Boeing would actually abandon many of the advanced features that had made them a winner and even go back to what worked, the Lockheed Delta Wing design. If Lockheed had won the contest instead of Boeing, perhaps they would have been able to make a series of prototypes, or even better, a production model for an airline like Delta by the time Congress was considering pulling funding in 1971. And perhaps I could even say that with an aircraft flying and orders being delivered, those minds in Washington would have not been so eager to close the program and we would have seen funding well to the oil crisis of 1973, enough to make a substantial impact on the world of aviation.